Minister releases dictionary of Ayurveda. It's also Bengaluru. The University of Transdisciplinary Health Sciences and Technology in Bengaluru has developed a comprehensive five volume dictionary of Ayurveda, Sanskrit, English, and Kannada, which includes 5,000 technical Ayurvedic terms and ancient works on Jwara. 5,000 works on Jwara only. 5,000 technical Ayurvedic terms. Oh. The dictionary, it's a dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has 5,000, like, you know, Ayurvedic terms. technical Ayurvedic terms. And which also includes ancient works from okay. Jwara. Jwara is probably like a, like an actual just full section of mm. Ayurvedic writing on fever. Karnataka Health Minister Dinesh Gundarao officially released the five volumes of the dictionary of Ayurveda and the three books on Jwara at a ceremony held at the university campus on Friday. Drawing and drawing on numerous classical Ayurvedic texts, each term in the dictionary is presented with its etymological derivation, literal and implied meanings, detailed explanations and contextual references from relevant Ayurvedic scriptures. You know what etymology is? Mm -hmm. Etymology is basically how the word was formed. How Where did the word derive? Like, where did this word come from? Most of English words are okay. from like, you know, yeah, all this Greek and all. Yeah, Greek, Latin, and all these different languages, no? So, so that the etymology of a word is basically where it derived. The origination. Yeah. So, yeah. The dictionary brought out with financial support from the Irish department. You two would ask me what Irish was. Now, Irish is basically Ayurveda, Yoga, there's one Unani, Siddha, and homeopathy. Hmm. These five things, they congregated, they made like a new ministry only okay. in the center to basically promote all of these things. Because these are Indian Indian ways of like, you know, basically diagnosis. Hmm. So there's allopathic medicine, which is the all of like all of taking tablets, all of like, you know, allopathic, going through yeah. these tests and all Drugs those and things. All. Yeah. There is allopathy and there is homeopathy and there is all these things which are original okay. to India. And there are very few users of this and there is this one crazy, this guy, bro, a, a crazy doctor who speaks about this. There is this other podcast called Dr. Mike and all and there, he is a doctor, he calls, speak, calls people and they speak about like, you know, health stuff and all. Mm. And this guy is in the US mm. and he's a proponent of mm. Ayurveda. Okay. And I forgot his name, but he's doing like great work. It covers technical terms from 21 subcategories of Ayurveda according to an official release from the university. Additionally, in India, there are over 1 lakh Ayurvedic manuscripts that okay. remain unpublished with only around 500 of them deciphered, edited, translated and published. 500 bro. out of 1 lakh and bro, so this, it, all of this was written like long, 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 long years ago. Cure for everything is there probably. Bro, there's, I think it's called Charaka Samhita or something. Ah. Charaka or so like, some, so these guys were like the old guys who were like the first doctor, first like doctors of the world. Hmm. Like hmm. they did like surgery for the first time ever on this planet and all. Like those are the guys. Okay. Who have written such books? There are over one oh lakh God. books, and only five hundred of them have been like translated, edited, and all that. that Ayurveda means science of life. Wow. <laughs>